Hello and welcome to this first Friday video. Um, this one's going to cover module one, module one problem number seven. I'm going to use problem number seven because I'm going to show you some things that you can do in StatCrunch. I'm um, also going to show you some really nifty things with the um, Pearson system. Um, so here we go. A random sample of 15 college students were asked how many hours per week typically do you work outside the home? The response is shown to the right. So this person typically spends 11, outs, 11 hours per week working outside the home. This one 5, this one 0, uh, this one 28. And we've got three frequent possible frequency histograms. Let's start with C and work backwards to A just to make things kind of interesting. That's kind of small. I have trouble seeing that, so I'm going to click on this magnifying glass. Click, and it makes it bigger. If I want to make it really big, I can click on the maximize. That's a little bit too big for me because I can't see the data anymore, so I'll go back down to medium. Click and drag it so I can see the data over here along with the histogram. So if this histogram is the correct one, then there should be one value between 0 and 5, not including 5. And looking around here, 0, that's correct. Remember, for histograms, you include the lower bound. You do not include the upper bound. So that height is correct. There should also be just one value between 5 and 10, including 5, excluding 10. Um, boom, 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 there's one, there's, oops, there's two. So we know this is not the correct histogram because this height should be two. So let's close it and move to B. Again, I'll make this bigger, move it over so I can see the data. Okay, this says one between zero and five. We know that's true. Two between five and ten. There's five and seven, and those are the two. Uh, according to this, 3 between 10 and 15. So remember, include 10, do not include 15. So there's 1, 2, don't include 15. No, 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 no. So this height should have been 2 instead of 3. So we know that this is not the correct histogram. By process of elimination, it's got to be A, which is kind of why I work backwards from C back to A. But let's just double check. Make it bigger. Move it. There we go. So we already know the height of the first one should be 1. The height of the second should be 2. The height of the third should be 2. Let's double check that the height of the fourth should be four, is 4. And this runs from 15 to 20, including 15, not including 20. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Perfect height. 20 to 25, include 20, do not include 25, should be 3. There's 1, 2, 3. Remember, don't include 25, so that height is correct. 25 to 30, include 25, not 30. According to the histogram, it should be 2. Between 25 and 30, 1, 2, awesome. And greater than 30, it's just that 1. So this is the correct histogram. Click on that, and since it's multiple choice, you only get one, cho uh, one chance at it. Final check. Voila. Part 2. Is the histogram for the data set skewed right, skewed left, or symmetric? And instead of looking at this literally as, is it perfectly symmetric, look at this as, is it close to symmetric? Now. Histograms A and B are pretty close to symmetric. Histogram C is definitely not. Histogram C is skewed left. The direction of the skew is the same as the direction of the longer tail. And this just kind of tails off to the left. But this histogram says it's symmetric, so we'll click on symmetric. And again, final check. Good job. And then the third one or next one, the mean number of hours worked by college students outside the home is approximately, well, we know the formula for the mean. Add up all the data values, divide by the number of data values. So you could add up all 15 of these and divide that number by 15. Or you could have StatCrunch to it. 
And since we know that we're going to have to use StatCrunch in the future, let's go ahead and have StatCrunch do this. And now first, what we would like to do and what will work for a lot of you is just to import this data into StatCrunch. How do you do that? See this little icon up here? It says click to copy table. Click it. And this pop-up pops up. Open in StatCrunch. And this is going to work for the majority of us. It won't work for me. Because apparently my Java application is too old. That's unfortunate. However, if I scroll down all the way to the right, open in new stack crunch. I'm going to click on that. And that's going to open this up in a completely different window. And it's going to open up with the data in there. And we got variable one. If we want to actually, I'm going to get rid of this while we're at it. If we want to name variable one hours work, we'll just call it work. And we just change the name of that variable. You want to see a histogram? We could go into graph histogram, but they already gave us the histograms. What we need to do now is calculate the mean number of hours worked. So we need to calculate the mean of this data. Go into stat. Go into summary stats. Because mean is one of the summary statistics that can be calculated. We're going to do this by columns because work the variable works numbers are stored in a column. Select the column. There's only one column we can select. We can specify which statistics we want it to calculate. Might as well just keep the default. And then click on Compute. And here are the summary statistics that StatCrunch calculated for us. The mean is 17. It's right there. Approximately 17 hours. Now, since this is a numeric response, we'll be able to check our answer quite a few times. We don't need to because we got the answer right. We used technology to perform the calculations. Median number of hours. Hey, right, let's see. Did this calculate the median for us? Haha, -ha, right there. Median is 18 hours. 18. Check answer. There we go. We got everything finished. It's perfectly correct. And that's kind of nice. But it's nice that we were able to do these calculations. What we need to determine is the interpretation of those two statistics. Mean and median are both measures of center or measures of location. They're a measure of the typicalness of, in this case, number of hours worked outside the home per week. If the data are symmetric, then the mean is the best measure of center. If the data are skewed, then you would use the median. But the interpretation is basically the same. On average, these college students, or college students in general, work an average of 15, uh, 17 hours per week outside the home, on average. So the typical or the average college student works those 17 hours outside the home per week. Interpretation is very key for us. So here's what we did in this problem, problem 7. We looked at some functions that Pearson gives us. The clicking on the, the little icon here, the, the magnifying glass icon, opens up the graphic so we can see it better. We thought about how what the histograms actually mean. We looked at how to determine which histogram is correct or best represents the data and which does not. Uh, we looked at symmetry versus non-symmetry. And, and we're, when we talk about symmetry, we're talking about close to symmetric. Um, we're, if we're talking about skew, it's got to be severely skewed. Again, here, A and B are close to symmetric. C is the only one that is skewed. Skew direction is always the direction of the tail. So the skew for C is actually left skewed. Then we used, we exported the data into StatCrunch. 
and we use StatCrunch to perform the calculations for the mean and the median. And I guess there is one more question down here to answer. Which of the two is appropriate? If the distribution of the data is symmetric, then the mean is appropriate. Otherwise, the median is going to be the appropriate one. So if C actually was the distribution of the data, we would s click on median. But it was A, which is symmetric, which means that the mean is the appropriate or the best measure of center. And that's it. I guess we'll do a final check. We're fantastic. And this is the end of the first Friday video. Hopefully this was helpful. Take care of yourself. Talk to you later.